Hi, this is Wes K for Figure Friday, and today we're going to be checking out something new and exciting. This is the Reaction Figures line from Funko. Now, most of you mo might be familiar with some of Funko's other things, like their Wacky Wobblers, their Pops, we have the Funko Force, and then the classic Bobblehead. But now they're getting into something even more exciting, three and three quarter inch figures. Now, they're starting with aliens. So right now we're gonna be taking a look at the actual alien action figure. Now, if you notice the packaging style is as classic 80s as it possibly can be. It's reminiscent of Star Wars and the old classic G.I. Joe figures. These figures were actually supposed to be out in the 80s. A lot of figures, unfortunately, did not get produced. Kenner, after the success of Star Wars, jumped on every single sci-fi property in the world. Unfortunately, they spent a lot of money to get the properties and build prototypes. Most of the figures never actually made it to stores. So now Funko is basically taking those old classic molds and those old figures that have never been released and they're giving them to us now. There's going to be a lot of other lines that they're dabbling into, a lot of horror like Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and then some also new cult classics like Firefly. That is probably going to be the most exciting and sought after line and it's going to sell out quickly. So start paying attention to Funko's reaction line because when those figures hit, you're going to want to jump on them because they will not be around for very long. Now, I'm going to take this figure out of the package so we can get a look at him. And while we do, we're going to zoom in so that you can see some of the other figures that are going to be coming out from this line also. Now, this is a line I am definitely super, super excited for. These were figures that I remember seeing in some comic books. Uh, advertisements when I was a kid and I definitely couldn't wait to get my hands on them unfortunately like I said before they never showed up now one of the other lines that they had really jumped on was the old classic TV show V and they haven't told us anything about those figures yet but I'm definitely hoping that it is something that might be on the horizon for us so here we are we're gonna stand up our guy so you can get a nice little view of him and uh, in a minute, we're going to check out some of the articulation on this figure and see how good of a job they really did. Okay, now this is an adult collector. This is not a toy to buy for kids. The packaging says age 17 plus, so please do not buy this for your little kids. One of the things is, is, is it more of a horror toy? The other one, there's not a lot of articulation, so it's really not meant to be in the hands of a kid. It's meant to really be handled more by an adult collector. All right, now there's not much articulation with this figure since it is more of an 80s thing and they're trying to go retro. They've kind of gone retro with the articulation on us also. Uh, as you'll notice right here, the way the hands are, they're facing down. There is no joint for the wrist, so there is no articulation on the hand. And it looks like there's articulation in the elbow the way they styled the joint and they put the little seam right here, as you can see but there is no actual articulation on that. We've gone back to the old classic basic T-joint style. We're gonna have the shoulder that's gonna go up and down, and that's it. Uh, same thing with the legs. We're gonna get an up motion and a down motion, okay? Now we're gonna put them to the side so you can see, and unfortunately, instead of being more like the true xenomorph alien, he's more like a zombie alien. Urgh, brains. All right, now we do have a little bit of articulation on the tail, not super articulation. It would have been better if they gave us the ability to kind of smooth this, uh, unfold this all the way, um, being that the aliens do use their tails to whip in the movies. It should be something that they did give us. But you do have a little bit of swivel motion, uh, but once again, being that there's not, it doesn't uncurl, there's not too much you can do with it. Now these back pieces... Although they do look like they're in grooves and they do have some motion to them, they do not. Okay, so once again, like I said, there's not a lot of articulation. This is something for the true classic Alien fan to kind of put on your shelf. Uh, it does look nice, but again, it doesn't have a lot of articulation. So this is not a toy that's meant for play. This is really meant for display. Now, the Xenomorph does have... Uh, articulation in the neck so his head is going to move side to side on us and now as you can see with the mouth we do have the inner jaw that's protruding a little bit now the inner jaw does shoot out and it does come back in the way we do that is this plastic clear piece of the dome is removable we just pop it off and then there is a little lever right here and you push it all the way forward until it clicks and now the inner jaw is extended and we'll give you another little view of it okay and then once again, if you want the inner jaw in, we slide this back, and now the inner jaw is in. Now, these white dots that are here, when it is exposed 
to sunlight are supposed to glow in the dark. Uh, now, unfortunately, today is a very cloudy day for us, so I'm not going to be able to test this, but maybe it is something that we can try in the future and maybe just uh, post some pictures of it when we get around to it. Now, we're just going to snap this piece of the dome back on, and if you see, the dome does get more narrow up in the front, and then it's a little bit thicker into the back, making it easier to see how it snaps on, and very easily it just clips onto his head. So once again, they did a nice job with the look of the figure, but unfortunately there's not a lot of articulation to uh, this figure. Now hopefully when we get into some of the other human characters, maybe they'll give us a little more articulation. But once again, this is the first time that Funko has gotten away from really statuized pieces like their wobblers, their bobbleheads, and their pops. So we do have to give them a little bit of time to kind of figure out how they want to style these figures Again, too, we don't know if they're really reusing the exact molds from the original toys from the 80s or if they made their own. If they're going off of the old exact molds of the 80s, this would have been the articulation points that they had at the time. You're talking about the mid-80s and the exact same articulation as Star Wars figures. So, again, uh, it is a nice-looking figure, but hopefully as Funko goes on with this line, they give us some more articulation. That way these are more like action figures and not like figurines. Okay, now since we're going back in time and this is a classic 80s toy and it was what they were trying to do, give us a classic 80s toy feel. Uh, I'm going to be a little more generous with the rating than I normally would be. Uh, if I was just going on rating this figure as a figure from now, 2014, it would get a very low rating, probably a 4 or a 5. But like I said, they are trying to give us an old 80s feel toy. So for that, uh, we're going to give this alien figure a 7. Uh, again, some of you might not agree with it, but that's just my own opinion. Like I said, they are trying to give us the classic feel of an 80s toy. And for those of you that were born in the 80s and had toys, this is going to remind you of toys that you used to hold and play with back in the 80s. So for that, for the nostalgia fact, I'm going to give it a solid 7. Uh, but like I said, hopefully in the future, especially with some of the cult classic shows like Firefly, which has never had figures before, Funko really needs to take the extra step and update the toys. For the rest of the Aliens figures, if they give us that 80s feel, again, it is an 80s line and I will be able to deal with it. But for some of the other properties, hopefully Funko does do the right thing and give us that extra bit of articulation. So especially lines like Firefly and Nightmare Before Christmas, they get the full feel and the full uh, devotion to the line that they really do deserve. So. The Alien figure is going to get a solid 7. Uh, these are in your stores now, so definitely hit up your local toy shops or the online websites that you shop from and pick them up now before they're gone. Once again, this is Wes K from Comic Impact. <laughs>